Welcome incoming class of 2028. I'm going to walk you through some important information you'll need to know during your time as a Manuka High School student. Before I begin, I'd like to note that all hyperlinked information can be accessed in the non-recorded version of this presentation. Let's start off with some introductions. Prior to your first day of school, you'll be assigned a school counselor based on your last name. Students with the last name A through E will have Mrs. Cassidy as their counselor. Students with the last names F through LE will have me, Ms. Bednarz, as their counselor. Students with the last name LF through RE will have Dr. Brown as their counselor. And students with the last name RF through Z will have Mrs. Farrow as their counselor. Your school counselor is who you will work with in picking your classes for high school. Not only will you meet with us to pick out your classes for each school year, but we are available to you throughout the school year as well. We are located in student services to help you academically, with career goals, and with any social or emotional concern you may have. By the end of this presentation, you will have learned about the graduation requirements, how block scheduling works, and the registration process. We will also cover how course selection works and how honors classes are broken down during your freshman year. Let's take a look at graduation requirements. These requirements are important to keep in mind when picking classes each year. To be a Manuka graduate, you need to have 52 credits, with 37 of those being required classes and 15 being elective courses. You will need at least three and a half years of English classes and one semester of speech. We also require at least three years of math, science, and social studies classes. At least one full year of a world language, fine arts, or CTE class is necessary for graduation. Please note that taking a world language is not a requirement for graduation, but it does fulfill this particular requirement. Please keep in mind, most colleges require two consecutive years of a language as part of their entry requirements. Additionally, students will need to complete three and a half years of PE, as well as a semester of health, which will be taken freshman year. To close out Manuka's graduation requirements, a semester of a computer applications class is required. A full list of classes that fall into this category can be found on page six of the curriculum guide. You can find our curriculum guide by going on our school website, mchs.net, or by clicking the provided link. If you stay on top of your classes and strive to pass every class you're in, you will exceed the 52 credit requirement. The mentioned requirements are the minimum for completing your high school career. Let's fast forward to how your school day will look as a Manuka student. Manuka operates on a block schedule with A days and B days. By utilizing this schedule, you will not have every class every day. You'll have a total of seven classes with one resource, which comes out to eight total classes. These eight classes will be divided up, so you'll have four classes on A days and four classes on B days, with each class being 90 minutes long. I want to quickly elaborate on what a resource class is. This is a class worked into your schedule that should be utilized to get work completed. It is also a great opportunity to utilize the many labs we have available to further assist you with any classes you may need additional support with. Here you can see the bell schedule for South Campus. As I mentioned earlier, each block is 90 minutes long with the exception of third hour. Student lunches occur during third block. Students will be assigned to either A, B, C, or D lunch. When a student has lunch is dependent on which class they are in during third hour. This year, we're asking all incoming freshmen to pre-register. The link to do so can be found on this slide. Once this is completed, you will receive information on how to set up a PowerSchool account and finish the enrollment process. An instructional video can also be found on this slide. We ask that pre-residency be completed by January 5th, 2024. Now that we've broken down what a Manuka day looks like and talked about pre-residency, Let's dive into how course selection will work. You will be receiving a registration packet from your current school that includes information needed to get registered for high school. This packet includes the following, course selection sheet, freshman worksheet, information you need to complete residency, physical form, directions on completing your course selection sheet, and brief descriptions of freshman electives. Additional resources available to you are our course selection slideshow, the freshman worksheet, and the curriculum guide. The course selection slideshow gives you detailed information on each class's course selection process, the dates counselors will be releasing course selection information, and picking up your student's course selection sheet. It also will have all the links linked in this presentation, as well as showcasing classes and electives. 
The freshman worksheet can be used as a guide and tool for you to be sure you are signing up for the appropriate amount of classes. Curriculum guide. Please view the curriculum guide for graduation requirements, policies regarding schedule changes, descriptions, and prerequisites on classes and additional pertinent information. When choosing classes for your freshman year, please keep in mind that you will have eight classes total per semester, including a resource class. If you misplace your course selection sheet, you can find another one by clicking the provided link located in the non-recorded version of this presentation. On your course selection sheet, if a class has a Y next to it, that means it is a year-long course, whereas if a class has an S next to it, it is a semester-long course. You will have five required, or core, subject areas you need to be enrolled in your freshman year. These content areas are English, Math, requires a new or used TI-84 calculator, Science, Social Studies, and Health slash PE. Your core classes are all year-long classes with the exception of health and PE. Your freshman year, you will have health for one semester and PE for the opposite semester. With five required classes, that leaves your schedule open for some electives. Use the freshman worksheet as a tool to be sure you are selecting the appropriate amount of electives. Resource is a year-long class that is strongly recommended for students. As previously mentioned, Resource is your class where you are able to get work completed and utilize learning labs as needed. Once you've discussed and looked over your class choices with your parent or guardian, please return your completed course selection sheet to either the school you currently attend or drop them off to South Campus no later than January 18th, 2024. The deadline to make changes to your course selection sheet is February 9th, 2024. Please pay attention as our admissions to the honors programs we offer have changed from years prior. There are no longer any placement testing, applications, or waivers needed to join an honor level class. We offer honor level courses in all core classes, English, math, science, and social studies, as well as world language classes. Project Lead the Way, or PLTW, is also considered an honor level course. If you are interested in pursuing any honors class, please talk it over with your parent or guardian, as well as with your current teachers. When considering enrolling in an honors level class, please keep in mind a few key points. Honors classes move at a faster pace than what you might be used to. With the increase in pace, the rigor and course expectations are higher as well. This will require you to spend more time outside of school studying and reviewing over materials. If you are interested in taking an honors class or classes, keep the previously discussed points in mind. As discussed, the workload is much heavier than what you might be accustomed to, so take any of your additional commitments into consideration. Balancing extracurriculars and coursework can be overwhelming, so make sure you're making the best decision for yourself. If you're unsure if taking an honors class is for you, we strongly encourage you to talk with your current teachers for their input. They would be able to help you determine if honors will be a good fit for you. Additionally, you can check our school's website, mchs.net, to see which classes have recommended summer homework. We would advise you to take a look at any class that has summer homework to get a feel of what the class's daily workload would look like. As I mentioned earlier, to graduate from Manuka High School, students must successfully complete a computer applications credit. As you can see, we have a number of classes that fall into this category. For the full list of classes that fulfill a computer app credit, please refer to page 6 of the curriculum guide. After February 9, 2024, student schedules for the entire 2024 to 2025 school year will be created based on the courses selected at that time. Please note that once the master schedule for the 2024 to 2025 school year has been completed, any course request changes will be granted based upon availability. For this reason, it is the student's and parent's responsibility to carefully review the student's requests to ensure appropriate course selection choices have been made. Please refer to page four of the curriculum guide for our policy regarding schedule changes. Please pay close attention to the following dates as there was an error in the freshman packet. Registration pickup for your school is a little over a month away. If you are a current Manuka Junior High student, you will meet in person with the Manuka High School counselors on January 23rd and 24th. Please have your course selection sheet turned into MCHS no later than January 18th. 
If your current school is Troy Middle School, you will meet in person with the Manuka High School counselors on January 25th. Please have your course selection sheet turned into MCHS no later than January 18th. If your current school is Shanahan Junior High, you will meet in person with the Manuka High School counselors on January 25th. Please have your course selection sheet turned into MCHS no later than January 18th. If you have any additional questions, please refer to our FAQ sheet. Here you will find answers to many commonly asked high school questions. If your question is not answered on that sheet, please utilize the QR code to directly submit questions to the high school counselors. Please keep in mind that this is our busiest time of the year as we are registering both incoming and current freshmen. Your questions are important to us and we will get back to you as soon as we can. Thank you for your patience and understanding. We are excited to offer Incoming Freshman Night again this year. This event will take place on January 18th, 2024, and all are welcome to attend. This will give incoming students a chance to see the different clubs, sports, and organizations offered at MCHS. These extracurriculars give students the opportunity to further enhance their high school experience. In an effort to house everyone that would like to attend, we have broken the event into two sessions. Session one will run from 5.30 to 6.30 p.m. and is open to Manuka Junior High students with the last names A through F, Shanahan students, and students that attend private school. Session two will run from 7 o'clock to 8 o'clock p.m. and is open to Manuka Junior High students with the last names G through Z, Troy students, and students that attend private school. For additional information on our incoming freshman night, you may utilize the link to our flyer. We hope to see you there. Please know there are many resources available at MCHS to help you find success in high school. Our school counselors, social workers, deans, teachers, interventionists, nurse, administrators, department chairs, and school resource officer are here to assist you in any way they can. We hope this presentation was helpful and eased any stress you may be feeling about being in high school. We cannot wait for a great 2024 to 2025 school year. Go Indians!